okay, so thank you again for joining us. And uh, if you will have some questions, you can leave them in the chat and we will answer all questions that will uh, occur today. Uh, so this is the, the, the master program, International Business Management, and um, this is quite new program. We started to run this program in, in the format which is, uh, which is now, uh, last year. So we will be uh, having first graduation next year, and also this year we will have a second and intake. However, uh, this program has quite uh, long history. Uh, we've been running this uh, the similar program for more than five years together with our partner, uh, Yun Shopping International Business School. This is the business school uh, in Sweden. Uh, and uh, so we had similar program for five years and uh, the program was uh, designed so all of the students should get the second degree. Uh, in this format, the program uh, provides opportunity to get the second degree uh, from the Swedish Business School. However, uh, if you don't feel like um, going to Sweden during the second year, you can stay in Russia and uh, get only one diploma. So uh, the second degree is one of the features of our program and uh, this is an option with, which you um, can take and um, usually we take about 10 students from the program uh, to participate in double degree and uh, to get to Sweden you have of course to have uh, good grades and uh, you have to show a uh, good uh, level of English skills however as our program pr uh, provided entirely in English uh, we check your uh, English uh, skills uh, at the at the very beginning at, uh, at the admission stage um, so why to choose our program? Why international business management? Uh, and this is quite unique program for Moscow State University. First of all, as I said before, it's entirely in English. And so you don't have to uh, know Russian to study here. However, um, a little knowledge of Russia will help you, of course, because you will be living in Russia and uh, it be easier to get around to read science in uh, Metro, in the shops, of course. Uh, a little knowledge of Russian language would be very important. And uh, we also provide um, additional education in Russian. So if you would like to take uh, courses of Russian language, well, you can do so and um, learn a little of Russian. Uh, but again, it, it is not needed to study at our program. All you need to prove is that you have enough uh, knowledge of English language. Um, so as I said before, one uh, of the options that our program is providing, you can get the second degree uh, from Yuan Chaping International Business School. And this is a very well-known school in um, uh, entrepreneurship and family business. And uh, business school have very uh, famous international accreditations, ACRIS and ACSB. Uh, these are accreditations for business schools, uh, which, uh, proves the level of quality of the education provided. Um, what other skills that we will be uh, providing uh, during the education, during the two years? First of all, um, our courses are designed to develop your abilities to become a business creator. And it's not only uh, being an entrepreneurship and starting your own business, but it also about being entrepreneurial uh, while you're building your corporate career. Because entrepreneurial skills, they are equally valued by your, uh, when you apply to your own business and also when you work for a corporation. Um, so you can develop the entrepreneurial skills and uh, become a business creator. And also we will give you an understanding of how uh, business uh, is done internationally and uh, what type of knowledge and skills you have to, uh, to get uh, to start up international ventures. Um, we are very keen on developing your leadership skills and uh, especially in a global perspective because uh, all of our 
uh, graduates, uh, they will be working in international teams, even though you will return to your own countries or if you're Russian citizen, citizen stay here, still you will be working in international teams, yeah, or you, you can work in the local team, but your business uh, will be facing international um, uh, uh, international rivals. Um, so cross-cultural skills are very in, is essential, and we are, will be developing these cross-cultural skills during um, education and global entrepreneurial instincts. And um, as our program is called International Business Management, of course, we are uh, trying to put you in the international atmosphere. And first of all, uh, the cohort of students will be very international. Uh, students will be come from, coming from different countries. And also we're teaching staff, our lecturers and professors, they also represent different cultures, represent different countries. Uh, you will be uh, taught by Russian professors, by Swedish professors, uh, by professors from Germany and uh, USA. And uh, Gerald is one of our American professors who teaching uh, at the program. Um, Gerald, can I ask you, um, what do you think are the most important skills uh, that are required now for building successful international career and how our program can help students to, to do so? Well, it's a very good question, um, Maria. I think, you know, self-confidence and the ability to um, lead teams is probably one of the most successful or key indicators because uh, so much of what happens, particularly in the service industry, is based on a team environment. And uh, titles like manager and supervisor are now replaced by team leader and and uh, head head team or or something like that. So teamwork and communication and and leadership and to be able to be a leader, you have to have some knowledge of who you are, what is required to lead, what is required to communicate, how to get the best out of your team, how to how to get the best out of yourself. Once you have this uh, self-confidence and good self-image, you can approach others, whether they are partners or competitors or service providers or whatever they are, to really um, achieve results um, rather than um, not understand or being too timid to uh, actively and successfully participate in business. So I think it starts there. And then the other skills and how to use those other skills we learn um, adds on to that. But if uh, you have the self-confidence and the sense of um, being a team player, player and a team leader, it's you're halfway there to being successful, whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you are in a large IT company. Uh, if you look at most of the IT companies um, that exist, there's hardly anybody who's called the manager. It's team leader, um, group teams, or whatever, product teams and so on, uh, rather than the old structure that used to be very str uh, strict and um, very rigid. So uh, that helps. Um, and of course, the other subjects that you are taught give you the knowledge that you can use in dealing with the various uh, issues and challenges that you face in business. Okay, thank you very much. So um, we will be trying to, to develop these skills uh, while you will be studying at the program. Um, now let's uh, get to the courses that you can get into the schedule. And um, at Faculty of Economics, our academic year is divided into three trimesters. And on the slide, you may see the dates. Uh, uh, of each of the trimester. First trim trimester starts in September and ends in December. Uh, so by, usually by 24th or 25th of December, you will be done with your exams and will have a short break until uh, usually 10th or 11th of January when the second trimester starts. Uh, so the second trimester uh, ends uh, uh, in March and then you will have another week break and the third trimester starts in April and ends in 
uh, June. And uh, during the first year, uh, especially the first trimester, uh, you will be offered, offered compulsory courses. So there, there's no real choice. These, these are the courses that are required to obtain uh, a degree of uh, Master of Science in Management. This is the degree you will get uh, from Moscow State University. And uh, you may see the list of the courses. Uh, uh, it includes strategic management, corporate finance, organizational behavior, managerial economics, research methods and management, and uh, in this course, particularly, you will be taught how to use uh, uh, SSPS system. Uh, business communications, uh, Russian language, that will be uh, another course, and philosophy. Uh, and uh, our university offers a unique opportunity while you're studying not only to take courses from uh, a specialization that you have chosen, but also you can take one of the campus courses. These are the courses offered by other schools, other departments. So uh, depending on your choice, you can take a course about astronomy and uh, participate in uh, star watching, or you can take a course in literature, or you can take course in chemistry and biology. Uh, so it depends on your interest and um, the idea is to widen your area of knowledge. Um, and uh, so uh, even though the, the, the campus courses are electives, uh, still you have to have at least one campus course, so, so having the campus course is obligatory. Um, so that, that was the list of courses for the first semester. During the second trimester, yeah, still you will have um, obligatory courses, uh, and these are already courses um, specific to our program. Uh, you will have international business, international communications and leadership, international business law, uh, and uh, the research seminar, this is the special course which will be uh, going through the whole um, program starting from, actually it starts in the first, first trimester, but a very short one and it, uh, the longer courses will be during the second, third, fourth and fifth trimesters. And this is the research seminar is devoted to uh, assist you with writing your master thesis. So th this course is devoted to formulate the research question, uh, choose your scientific supervisor, start to formulate hypotheses, and then uh, you will be presenting how far you progress with your uh, academic writing. Um, and uh, this course is very important because uh, to, to, uh, in, in order to be able to graduate from the program at the end, you have to present and defend the master thesis uh, and uh, research seminar assists you to uh, successfully finish your research work. And uh, internship, you also see that internships are also presented starting from the second trimester during the whole uh, program. Uh, this is because we emphasize the practical part of education. Internship means that you should be uh, starting practicing in real business. Uh, usually it's about two week uh, internship that you have to take each trimester. And inter internships are very important because they uh, provide students the idea of how real business function, but also this is a good chance to show yourself and uh, to find a place uh, for employment after you graduate. And um, Russian students usually uh, try to uh, find internships themselves. It's not uh, that uh, complicated because many companies, they like to take students, especially the master students, because they already uh, have the first level of higher education and uh, they already have enough skills and competence to work in the real business. And uh, for, but at the Faculty of Economics, we have a career center uh, which helps students to find internship and uh, they also help to find um, employment after you graduate and they assist in writing CVs and they give some advice how to uh, go through interviews and through selection procedures. So this is uh, an important part uh, of our programs and um, we really hope that after internship you will be able to find an employment once you graduate. 
for our international students and for students who, who has no uh, knowledge of Russian language, of course, we assist with finding internship where they can um, work uh, using uh, English language. So you will be assisted here. Uh, during the third trimester, uh, you will have uh, international marketing, which is the obligatory course, startup and international venture development, which is another um, uh, obligatory course. And you will have one elective course. The list will be provided during the second trimester and you can select the course that you would like. And also internship. Uh, during the second year, um, you will have two options. I will tell about them uh, on the next slide. So first option would be to stay in Moscow. And uh, during the second year, uh, there, there, there are only elective courses that uh, the courses of your choice that, that uh, you can take. Um, and uh, you, there you can um, specialize yourself either in international marketing or in digital business. Um, uh, or in uh, finance, yeah, so you, you can select courses which appeal uh, to you and which uh, fits your um, uh, ideas of development. Um, okay, so uh, second year, it seems more um, flexible, you can see there are only electives. The research seminar would be, again, uh, during the whole academic year. Uh, every trimester, you will have this research seminar and uh, internships are also there. And uh, at the end of the sixth trimester, usually this is the end of May, beginning of June, um, you will have to defend your master thesis and pass the final exam where we check um, the, the knowledge that you have knowledge and skills that you have acquired during this, these two years. Um, now, uh, uh, let's talk about these two options. So, um, on this slide, you, you may see the elective courses which are available uh, when you are taking a Moscow track, uh, but you have a chance also to get, go to Sweden, to uh, our partner, the Entropic International Business School, and um, get the second degree. So usually students uh, have to, uh, if they decide to, to go um, for, uh, for a double degree, uh, students uh, will leave to Sweden at the end of August. Usually semester in Sweden starts uh, the last week of August. Uh, and you will stay there until uh, mid, mid of April. Um, uh, at GIPS, uh, students are required to take four elective courses and also one, one course devoted to thesis writing. And uh, what is good about taking this opportunity, um, you, you don't have to, to write two master theses. There is only one master thesis that you should present for both schools, for Moscow and for GIPS, and uh, defend it once uh, to the joint uh, committee. So during the defense, uh, representatives from uh, Yenchopik International Business School will be uh, at Moscow, will be at your defense. So your defense will be automatically counted for both diplomas, for both degrees. Um, during um, students usually ask what uh, should they pay uh, for both schools or not. So our uh, payment is done so that while you are in Sweden, uh, you don't have to pay during this period for Moscow degree. So uh, and um, the Swedish degree uh, costs approximately uh, twelve thousand euros. So this is the, the fee you will be paying during the second year. And uh, this payment should be divided into two installments. So each semester uh, you will be paying half of this uh, amount. Um, and um, so after you you're, will be taking courses in Sweden, you have to come back, as I said again, and defend your thesis in Moscow and also so, uh, uh, take uh, pass the, this final examination. Um, during your um, GIPS time, uh, Sweden time, uh, GIPS is offering dormitories, so you will be uh, definitely offered accommodation. 
uh, also depending on the, on the level of accommodation, you, uh, the cost will be between 300 and 400 euros per month. And uh, you can either rent um, a room or, or, so that will be the cheapest, or you can rent a small apartment where you will have small private kitchen and small uh, private bathroom. So that the, the, the cost of, the, of such type of accommodation, of course, higher. Um, so, but anyway, all, all of the students will be provided with accommodation, as well as in Moscow. Yeah, for international students, we also provide accommodation in our dormitories, uh, and dorms are not far away from our building. A um, few words about um, possible employment, and on this slide you may see where our graduates are working, uh, which companies like to employ them, and you may see many international companies uh, like consulting, like BBCG, uh, Big Four like to take our students, like Ernst & Young, and KPMG, and Price Waterhouse, Coopers. Um, many FMCG companies like Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, uh, SCA uh, like to hire our graduates. And um, about 10% uh, of our graduates follow academic career and uh, also employed by quite famous universities internationally. Uh, so, of course, um, your employment depends on, on you. Yeah, we, we cannot guarantee that uh, particularly these companies will employ you. Uh, however, you will get uh, this opportunity and uh, the Moscow State Diploma is val very valued by our by employers in Russia and uh, for international students this is also a chance to uh, find an employment in Russia. Uh, many of our international students who are now at the program they have job they work for international companies uh, and this is actually another feature of our program uh, because all classes are provided during evenings and on Saturdays. So uh, students potentially have a chance to work. So you can uh, work and study uh, simultaneously and the schedule will allow you to do so. Okay, let's go further. A uh, few words about application and I think this is very important information for you now. And um, for international students, that admission will be um, made in two waves. Uh, so if you feel ready to uh, pass exams during the first wave, you have to supply uh, or you have to submit your documents by 15th of June. And this year, all the submissions will be done online. And you will see, you see on this slide, uh, the, the website webanketa.msu.ru. This is the site, website where you can upload required documents. Uh, so, uh, as I said before, everything is done online this year. Uh, everybody knows why. Uh, and um, if you are uh, ready to submit your documents now, please do so before June 15. And the first uh, exam will take place. Um, on June 20th, uh, so that, that will be delayed June. And uh, the second ex uh, wave of examination would be uh, around 20th of July. Uh, so by the end of July, uh, all the exams will be over and uh, at the end of July, beginning of August, you will, um, uh, you will know the results, uh, whether you have admitted or not. Uh, the Russian citizens, uh, they have chance only to uh, pass exams during the second wave in uh, late July. However, if, uh, uh, if you are going for a military uh, service during summer, yeah, you can take uh, exams during the first wave, so on 20th of June. Um, so uh, this is information yeah, about uh, application uh, deadlines, and uh, you can, of course, 
get to our website and find the recent information there. And uh, what about the exam? Uh, to get to the program, you have to um, pass two exams. First one usually uh, in, in the row is the English language exam. And this is pass or fail exam. So you have to uh, get 40 points out of 100 to pass it. Uh, or if you have um, uh, in, in language certificates, uh, you can also submit your language certificate and, and uh, it will be counted as the English language exam. Um, the list of uh, language certificates and the, the points uh, which you have to get for each of them uh, presented on our website so you can consult it. Uh, we also discussing uh, the possibility to, um, to, to, to take GMAT exam uh, uh, instead of uh, examine international business management. So if you, if you uh, have GMAT, you can also um, write us and we will tell you about the procedure, how to um, submit your GMAT instead of international business management exam. Uh, so uh, the second exam in international business management um, provides you actually the required points to be admitted. The maximum you can get is 100 points, uh, to, but to get uh, best to be uh, admitted, you have to get at least 40 points. So students who get less than 40 points uh, couldn't be admitted to the program. And uh, the examination consists of two parts. First part, we call it the general part, and there we check your uh, knowledge in basic economic theory, statistics, and um, uh, management of organization. Uh, and um, uh, usually for general part, you can get about 40 points out of 100. And the special part, which checks your um, special knowledge in international business, and we check actually skills which are, th these are the prerequisites required for you to successfully then uh, study at our program. And uh, there, uh, in the special part, we will be checking uh, different aspects like international uh, external environment of, of organization and the tools to uh, analyze external environment, uh, internationalization of business activities, international business activities of the companies, some aspects of international marketing, uh, human resource in international companies, organizational culture in international company and international business communication. Uh, you can um, get the uh, detail uh, program of exam on our webs and uh, each, each of these um, topics yeah, uh, described there what particularly, particularly you have to know uh, in each of these uh, parts. Um, we will also be providing a short preparatory course. So if you feel uh, a little bit unsecure in any of these as uh, topics or aspects of the exam, you can sign up for um, preparatory course. Uh, and there uh, it will be online course, but it will be uh, provided in uh, um, Face in a face to face uh, manner, yes. So we will be used in Zoom, so it, it won't, won't, wouldn't be a, a recorded lecture which you will be watching. No, it will be an uh, interactive seminar where uh, our professors will be explaining you the different aspects of exam, and you will um, uh, look at the similar types of test questions and, and tasks that you will be offered. So here on this slide, you have a core court uh, for the web page of the, of the um, uh, preparatory course. So please, if you're interested, please register um, there. Okay, some statistics from, uh, from previous intake and enrollment in 2020. So uh, we plan to um, uh, admit five Russian citizens and 15 foreign citizens. However, these are the plan numbers. So if, if we see that we have more uh, competent and 
students of or candidates of really good quality, of course, we can uh, admit more. So don't be afraid of these numbers and uh, please submit your documents. Uh, you you see uh, some statistics from the enrollment on, uh, in 2019, and as you can see here, uh, only three students uh, were from uh, Russian universities, and 10 students um, came from international universities, so the um, program represents really uh, students with different backgrounds from different universities and um, maximum uh, points for exam that was obtained last year was 74 and minimum was 41 and one student last time uh, submitted a language certificate instead of passing English language exam um, you uh, on the core court you may uh, get access to a web, web, web page of our program with um, more detailed information and also email uh, if you have questions questions you can write uh, uh, an email here and we will be answering as soon as possible okay but th these are also our um, emails um, Jana Kratkova uh, program coordinator um, Maria Ulyanova, this is me, also can contact me. And uh, if you have questions particularly concerning uh, specific of admissions, you can either write our admission department, it's pkecon.msu.ru, or international foreign department, uh, which is inastran at econ.msu.ru. Uh, foreign department is the department which uh, deals especially with the admission of documents from international students. So they will uh, verify your uh, bachelor degree and check all other documents uh, which are required for submission. So please don't hesitate to um, contact us if you uh, have more questions. And um, I think we can uh, start answering questions which are already we, we, we have collected some questions before from you and I see that we already have questions here so I will ask Jana to um, uh, to read them yes uh -huh. and me and Jerry will try to answer them okay uh, we have some questions uh, from our chat uh, and the latest one uh, is um, um, about uh, what date will be both uh, English and IBM test. Uh, so um, if we speak about foreign students, uh, then those uh, who have submitted their documents online before June uh, 20th, uh, they can uh, take uh, these exams uh, in late June, so after uh, June uh, 20th. Uh, at this time, we don't know exactly the dates for the first uh, and second waves, but we expect that the first uh, wave will be on June 21st and on June uh, 25th, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. So, um, if we speak about uh, foreigners and Russian citizens uh, who submit their documents uh, after June 20th, uh, so they will take their examination uh, in late July. I think that next week uh, is the time when we um, get the information uh, on exact dates of our exams. Uh, and I should uh, I should add that uh, all the exams also will be uh, taken online. Yeah, so this is the specific of this year. So you, we are not waiting for you in Moscow. All all the examination will be done online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and. Uh, for for the results for th those students who will uh, be taking the exam during the first wave you should wait until the second wait uh, the second wave uh, to get uh, the results uh, on admission mm -hmm. okay. 
Okay. Uh, so we have uh, lots of questions about how to prepare for the second exam. Uh, so uh, after this conference, I will send you uh, all of you the presentation. Uh, so you will get all the links. Uh, and also I will send you a link to um, the program of our exams uh, and uh, examples of uh, English language uh, tests. So you will uh, may, um, get acquainted with them. And also we have already discussed that uh, you have an option to register for preparatory courses. Uh, another question is, um, yeah, so um, how to prepare? Mm. Yeah, about uh, our application. Uh, so it will be online. Um, we are asked uh, about can we um, submit all the documents online. Uh, yes, uh, you will use the webanketa.msu.ru website. Uh, and uh, when you uh, come to Russia first, uh, after you are enrolled, uh, when the borders are open, uh, you will uh, give all the original documents uh, that you uh, have sent uh, Mm, via this online platform uh, to our foreign department uh, and your um, admission will be successful. Uh, and I think uh, that we should mention that we are getting ready uh, to start our first trimester online next autumn uh, for, because uh, yeah, we expect that uh, maybe there will be some issues uh, uh, with invitation letters, uh, with your uh, possibility to enter um, Russia because of uh, the closed borders and so on. So don't worry about, the, uh, about it uh, if you successfully uh, pass our entrance exams, we start uh, uh, keeping you updated uh, about uh, the uh, educational process uh, in the fall. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I should add that actually uh, you will get an opportunity to study online in any case, yeah, if you have problems entering Russia, and uh, we already have a huge experience in, in uh, teaching online and uh, Gerald was uh, teaching his course online this year. Maybe you can, uh, Jerry, Jerry, share some experience uh, about the difference th uh, teaching online and offline. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. um, some of you may wonder what that image is behind me and, and that image is a, uh, a fortress in the city of Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. And um, Moscow State University has a uh, filial in uh, Baku. And I was teaching there uh, this spring when the uh, shutdown started because of the COVID-19. And so I continued on with my class in um, uh, the online way. And it was very interesting. Uh, interesting in that um, we, ha we had the, the same kind of um, program, but I think the students found it uh, nice that they didn't have to commute from the suburbs uh, to get into the, uh, the, fa uh, the faculty. And um, the uh, uh, questions uh, were a lot more for me because the uh, uh, environment was very different from the face-to-face, person-to-person. So it went very well. And um, I think the... Uh, the biggest challenge for me was how the exam would work, but it work, worked very well. And uh, uh, all in all, I, I'm very happy that we had a uh, successful semester and a uh, successful result for all the students. Okay, thank you. However, we hope that you all managed to come to Russia because it's important to be in the country to get this experience. Yeah. But still, uh, we will offer such opportunities, so please don't worry. Uh, if you don't have chance to get to Russia in September, you, you, you will start online and then once you can get, you will come and continue yeah. offline. Okay, Jana? Uh, the next group of questions uh, is uh, about your bachelor degree. Uh, so we, uh, we expect that you have a bachelor degree of uh, at least uh, 125 CTS uh, points uh, and that's all. Uh, so we, don't, uh, we do not have any special requirements on the field of your bachelor specialization uh, and uh, yeah, um, it doesn't really count uh, for us. And uh, Jana, I should add that this is actually an advantage uh, 
for students who has non-economic degree in uh, in their bachelor studies uh, to get admitted to uh, GIPS, yeah, because in Sweden there is a special requirement. You uh, don't have, uh, you're not uh, allowed to be admitted to um, programs in business or economics if you don't have uh, at least 60 CTS in management or economics uh, during the bachelor studies. Uh, and um, at our um, program, yeah, we admit you with any degree in, from any area. Uh, however, uh, the fact that you have passed the exam and also uh, you will be studying one year of business and economics before going to Sweden. So this will be um, uh, admitted as the prerequisites as your 60 CTS for business management. So this is really a good chance for those students who are not from uh, business or economics uh, area uh, to get uh, European education. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, I, I would like to add uh, as well that um, I've had engineers, architects, uh, medical doctors, uh, and one or two um, uh, uh, science uh, students. And I think they have done surprisingly well. As a matter of fact, um, some people claim that having a, an engineering undergraduate degree and a business master's degree is a great combination. So um, the, the fact that there is uh, a mixture of different backgrounds, I think, enhances the group as well. So uh, having people with degrees in economics and marketing and finance, as well as uh, uh, the natural sciences and uh, engineering, uh, math mathematics and so on, just uh, makes it a more uh, vibrant environment for the students to learn from each other in many ways. Thank you, Joey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, another group of questions is about uh, the knowledge of Russian language. Uh, so we do not expect uh, uh, you to know it at all. So you do not require, you are not required to know Russian during the entrance examination and during the whole studies. Uh, you have an opportunity to start learning it or to continue uh, to enhance your uh, knowledge of Russian during our studies. Um, but it is not required for you to uh, successfully enter our program and to successfully uh, finish it. <laughs> yeah. uh, the next question is about uh, the consultation before our exam. Uh, and uh, can we provide uh, some example materials maybe based uh, on the previous year uh, exam materials? Maria, could you help me? Yes, sure. Sure. Uh, so we will uh, we will be doing uh, consultation uh, a day or two days before, and I think we will do also the Zoom kind of uh, this info session. It will be a Zoom conference with uh, students be able asking questions. Um, uh, we will post uh, on our website the example of the previous examinations uh, with the type of questions. Uh, and um, but I suggest if you feel insecure about the taking exam, you can of course also sub, uh, apply uh, or register at our preparatory courses. Yeah, where we will explain everything to you. Mm -hmm. More questions, uh, Yana? Uh, if you pick uh, the double degree track, uh, so what will be the degrees uh, for you? Uh, the first degree uh, that you get from Moscow State University is Master um, in Management. Um, and uh, the second degree that you will obtain from GIPS, uh, it will be Master in Business Administration. Am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Master in Business Administration, right. Mm -hmm. Master of Science, yeah, both, both actual degrees are Master of Science. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let me check. Um, if we haven't forgotten about any questions uh, from the uh, registration form. Um, 
So how many exams uh, um, should we take this year? Two of them are uh, English exam and uh, exam uh, in the field of your study in international business management. Uh, and the question is, uh, how much is the tuition fee on our program? So yeah, um, tuition fee will be uh, for 520,000 rubles per year. Uh, and usually you pay in two installments. Uh, first installment should be paid uh, before the beginning of the first semester. So it should be paid in August. Um, the second installment is paid here in January. So, uh, and the second year you also, you, first installment you pay uh, before the first semester starts and then the second in January. Thank you. Uh, we are asked uh, what are the specialty or better majors of our college? What are, uh, can you repeat this again? What are, what are better majors uh, of our college? Uh, better majors? Yeah. Oh, maybe maybe yeah. like like schools or, tracks, uh, or elective courses are uh, mm. meant okay the, 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 so we um we're a big school big faculty and we have more than 200 uh teaching staff and research staff so um research areas are quite widened we of course traditionally uh, are very strong in uh, mathematics in econometrics and in uh, all, uh macro and microeconomy um finance are really strong and uh, our teams usually win different um, uh, competitions in finance uh, marketing and management are very strong yeah and uh, the marketing department uh, has a lot of research the management department uh, also um, what else and um, Human resource management uh, would be also a good area that we can take. So actually, um, we're strong in many, many parts. And uh, of course, um, we also uh, uh, invite um, professors and uh, lecturers from real business, uh, like Gerald uh, has very, uh, very rich experience in corporate business and in uh, being a member of different board of directors. So uh, Gerald represents uh, actually the uh, lectures who has very, uh, very rich practical experience, yeah, which uh, uh, lectures, lecturers will share later. And uh, this is very important, yeah, because um, researchers who are doing only research and don't go to corporate life um, they cannot share really practical issues yeah this is this, this will be more like theoretical uh, part of education but as our program is in management and international management of course we are inviting uh, people from uh, corporate world yeah and having very strong international experience uh, like Gerald being a U.S. citizen, yeah, working in Russia, and you can share really a lot of lot of experience how how to live in other country, how to work in another country, um, and many other things. Am I right, Gerald? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. So um, mm, these are the, the main. I think I named most of of areas where we're strong at. Yeah, no, there, are there more questions? Uh, yeah, mm, another question is about uh, mm, will our program assist you in uh, obtaining a resident status uh, in Russia? Uh, so, of course, uh, um, yeah, in, in September uh, last year, uh, our Ministry of Foreign Affairs declared uh, that those students who successfully graduated from uh, Russian uh, bachelor and master programs, um, I mean, uh, those who got uh, diplomas with honors, uh, they uh, 
can easily obtain uh, a resident status in Russia. Uh, the rules, the, requir the requirements for obtaining uh, such a status uh, will be easier for our students. Uh, so it's a good uh, motivation for you to study well in Russia. <laughs> Yeah, and to study excellent, I should say, and to get uh, a degree with uh, honors, uh, you have to uh, get no more than 25% uh, of uh, four grades, right? And so your um, GPA, your average score should be 4.75, I think so, yeah? Uh, to get to get this uh, to get this honors um, uh, degree with uh, diploma with honors, um, and um, those students who are not uh, who didn't study in Russia, maybe are not familiar with our grading system. Um, we have um, grading system uh, from one to five, yeah, which is five is the excellent grade, and uh, to obtain five, you have to uh, get 85% of points for, for, for each uh, course. Uh, the second uh, mark is four, which is good. Uh, and uh, this is about 65% of uh, all points you can get. Uh, then the satisfactory is the three. Uh, and this is the last positive grade that you can get. And, uh, if you get 40% of all points for the course, you can get three. And two uh, and one means fail, yeah? Uh, so actually three, four, and five, these are the, the positive rates, yeah, which means that you have successfully passed the course. So, and you, if you have uh, most of excellent grades and only 25% of good grade, of good uh, grades, then uh, you will be able to get this degree with honors. So please do so. Yeah, we, we, we like good students. We like students who uh, study excellently. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you very much for your recommendation and advice. Uh, we have lots of uh, questions about the documents that are required to uh, submit for admission. Um, I think uh, that I will take some time to uh, know the answer about your medical certificates, uh, whether they are required to be submitted uh, before the examination. Uh, so I will uh, include this answer uh, in my email um, after this uh, conference. Uh, also, uh, there are some indivi individual questions uh, uh, depending on your uh, own situation with your documents. I recommend you to write uh, me in person, uh, write an email describing your situation, for example, that you uh, graduate later, uh, you do not have your diploma with you now, uh, all these questions uh, please uh, forward to me uh, and I will uh, contact our foreign department uh, because uh, it is they uh, who can help us with these uh, individual cases uh, because sometimes uh, they can really uh, advise some good things uh, in such a uh, uh, complicated uh, cases. Uh, next question uh, is uh, about our elective courses. Uh, can you take uh, econometrics uh, as an elective course? I should mention that we have a really strong uh, department of mathematical methods uh, on our, at our faculty, uh, but they uh, provide courses uh, for uh, their own uh, program uh, and for bachelor's, bachelor's studies. Uh, sometimes these courses are held uh, in English, uh, so I think that we can uh, easily communicate uh, the professors uh, uh, and they will allow you to join them. Uh, and also we have lots of courses in econometrics uh, are of different levels uh, for beginners, for advanced uh, students. Uh, mm, they are held usually in Russian. Uh, so uh, if you feel uh, skilled enough, you can also join them. I think that we can uh, organize it for you uh, when you enter our master program. Mm -hmm. but, but to study econometrics, to get uh, admitted to our program, it, it, it's not required. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just uh, like, uh, another opportunity that you can obtain being a student of our faculty. Um, yeah, uh, 
again, uh, we are asked about uh, preparation courses. Uh, we will help them uh, very soon. Uh, you will uh, receive a link uh, uh, where you can register for them if you wish. How will the online test be conducted? What application will um, students use? And do students need to prepare some facilities in advance? Um, I will answer this question, yes. So uh, we will be using a uh, proctoring system, yes. So you will be uh, watched by uh, camera. So to pass online exam, uh, you need to have a computer with a, cam uh, with a camera and with a microphone. And uh, so we will be watching your screen, yes. But these are typical proctoring uh, approaching. Uh, the exam would be not more than two hours. Uh, most of the questions will be multiple choice questions where you just have to tick the right answer and uh, there will be only one uh, answer, the right answer in the test. Uh, and um, there will be one so-called open question, uh, structured question, so you will be offered some kind of a short case study and uh, you will be asked a few questions which, which you should answer. So there we, we uh, test your analytical skills, how you can uh, analyze the real life situation. Of course, it will be related to international business, okay? Mm -hmm. More questions? Um, yeah, we were asked to uh, collect all the questions and the answers and to forward them uh, by emails. Uh, yeah, I, I will make it uh, further. So, of course, you will receive all the answers again uh, in a convenient form for you. And do not hesitate to contact me anytime you have any further questions or you didn't get uh, anything we discussed. Um, okay. Um, there were questions uh, about employment uh, from the registration form. Uh, I think we have discussed uh, many uh, key features of uh, the employment, different career tracks of our graduates. Uh, and the key point is that if we uh, speak about your internship, uh, about your future employment, uh, we have a career center uh, that helps uh, all of us to uh, get in touch with different uh, employees, uh, employers, uh, and to find your own place, uh, even if you do not know Russian. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. So um, it seems to me that like we have seen all the questions. Uh, yeah, another one is uh, where can we know about the details about our faculty uh, background? Uh, so um, you will see the link uh, for our uh, faculty website. Uh, you can scan it too. Uh, and also um, I can send you the link uh, about Moscow State University as a whole in English. Um, if you have any uh, certain specific questions, uh, you can ask them now or write me an email. But I uh, maybe I, I will say a few words about the Faculty of Economics. Uh, so for those who are not familiar, um, the faculty was uh, founded in 1941. So uh, we have quite long tradition of economics and management. And uh, our faculty was the first one to transfer to um, two degree uh, a two level of higher education system. So our uh, master programs uh, were the first to be on Russian market. And the first one was in 1991. And actually it was program in international business. Yes, yeah, so th this is a quite popular uh, area of study. Um, so uh, this means that our faculty has a really big experience uh, in, in master degrees, yeah. And um, the second feature is as uh, unlike many faculties where you just continue from bachelor to master degree, uh, our focus is that uh, we usually allow people from different backgrounds, from different university, uh, get to our master degree and um, having a good cohort of students uh, as well as we foster our uh, bachelor uh, graduates to 
continue master degree in other universities, even abroad. Yeah, so to widen uh, widen uh, the areas of knowledge. Mm -hmm. We receive uh, more questions now. Uh, can uh, can students take just uh, part in only one wave exam, or both two waves are available? Uh, so uh, it's um, the situation is that uh, if you are a foreigner, uh, then you can uh, take part in any of uh, the two waves, depending on the time when you submit your documents. If you submit them earlier, uh, before the 20th of June, uh, you can be uh, you, you can participate in the first wave, but after you once take part in examination, uh, that's it. So the second wave uh, is no more available for you. Uh, so everybody uh, will uh, go through examination period only once, uh, and the foreigners uh, have uh, an opportunity to uh, join uh, examination either in June or in July. Yeah. And I see uh, the, the question about scores, yeah, that uh, you have to get minimum 40 scores to get uh, 40 points to, to pass, yeah. And um, uh, to be honest, uh, we are really very flexible this year and um, the, the, the idea of university now is uh, to allow uh admission for all students who pass exam yes yeah, so uh, we will be uh quite flexible with admitting uh, students so you just have to pass the exam yeah get 40 points at least and um, um i see the yeah 40 points I, I also see questions about sweden part yeah about those who are going to sweden this year uh yeah, there might be, of course, problems with visa, and uh, we don't know yet how this will be going this year. Um, however, students had submitted their application. They were admitted by JIPS for the second year. Uh, now we're waiting when the Swedish consulate will be open and when you can submit your documents. However, uh, when you go to Sweden to, to study there, uh, you, you get uh, also residence permit for because you will be staying there for more than three months uh, and for this residency permit uh, usually students students apply online uh, and only called uh, to uh, consulate to uh, take photos and uh, fingerprints yeah uh, and the, the decision is also made online and what is also good you don't have um, to uh, give your passport to Swedish consulate, and they will you will you will keep your passport with you uh, while waiting for the decision. Decision usually takes up to two months. Yeah, so you have to really submit documents uh, very early June or late May uh, to be able to get to Sweden in August. Uh, so we'll be see how. Uh, I think that if there will be problems with. Uh, crossing borders and if the second wave of virus will occur then um, GIPS will offer the opportunity to study online however we understand that it's, it's not really very good because one of, of the uh, ideas to get international experience not only studying but also living in a different country okay and also uh, the question is can everyone choose the Sweden track or are there any additional conditions? No, the only condition is that you are successful during the, your first year. Yeah, so you have to show good academic results and that's all. And uh, yeah, usually we admit all who decides to get to Sweden. Mm -hmm. So Jana, do you see other questions? No, I don't see any new questions. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we'll again check uh, all the questions that we received uh, and I will collect uh, the answers. Um, I think they will be available for you after the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Gerald, maybe you would like to add something uh, at the end of our info session? Yes, well, one of the things I um, would like to add is that the uh, experience that many of the students have had in our 
master's program uh, has been a big surprise to them. I uh, am communicating with a former student today who wants some advice on their career and they had some um, questions. And it's not uncommon for me to receive questions from time to time from former students about uh, career advice or asking me some questions re relative to their discipline in their business. Um, the, uh, the faculty and the students seem to have a uh, interaction and dynamic that is um, both positive and to some, in some um, ways un uh, unexpected in that there is a certain um, uh, general caring for the uh, development and advancement of the students, which some students have been very pleasantly surprised to receive here. So um, I'm looking forward to meeting you and hoping that you have a great experience um, in Moscow, in, in the program. If you have any more questions, please contact Jan and she'll be able to um, reach me with those questions. Thank you, Jerry. Um, so uh, we will answer the last question. Yeah, I think it was about the scholarship uh, while you're in Sweden. Um, in, uh, there is a s s organization called Swedish Institute and uh, they provide scholarships for students. Um, however, you have applied in, the, in, in advance. Um, uh, in our practice, none of, none of our students had applied but you could be the first one to try and get the scholarship. So scholarships are available from uh, Swedish Institute. This is the institute which um, uh, supports uh, education in uh, Sweden. Okay, and the last question, how many points uh, about the open question and the choice question? Uh, so for open question, uh, last year we had 20 points. Um, this year probably would be the uh, same, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so I think um, we're almost done with the questions. If uh, uh, you decide to ask something more, please contact Jana or me, or if you want to ask uh, something from, uh, uh, from Jerry, please also do, we will contact Gerald. Uh, and I would like to thank all of you to join us today. Uh, we wish you to successfully pass exams and uh, we hope to see all of you in Moscow in September and we hope to see you, all of you as being students of our International Business Management Program. Uh, all the best, stay safe and healthy and um, please write to us if you have further questions. Gerald, Jana, thank you very much for your participation and um, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.